Hey, my name's Leah. Um, and I was baptized at a pretty young age. Um, I grew up in the church and I had a good family. My uh, dad was a pastor. Mom, she's just an awesome woman of God. And they, they raised me the right way. Um, like every night before we'd go to bed, we'd have like a Bible study and then we would um, pray and then we'd all go to bed and you know, it was just, it was really cool to grow up in an environment where Jesus was like the foundation of our family and, and still is the foundation of our family. And um, to have a brother and sister who would really hold me accountable for my actions and not let me off easy, that, that was definitely a big deal. And especially when I got to college, um, God knew that I would need that because um, like a lot of people, when I got to college, I started partying and I got into just this, this lifestyle that was not good. And I let that identify me and I let that become who I was because all of a sudden, like I come out of high school and uh, I'm experiencing this whole new world. And um, basically it was just, it was like, I was popular now because I could I could dance and I could hold my liquor and and everyone was like oh Leah you're so cool and and I liked it and it went to my head and dude pride comes before the fall like big time and um, so I let these people kind of shape who I was who I was and um, um, and I love the attention um, I guess I started out like with one drink and then it became um, like, oh, we'll just get tipsy and whatever happens, happens and we'll just blame it on the alcohol. And, and that's all it was. Um, and that's just, that's extremely dangerous because it's just a hook. And once you're, you get like a hook, it's you just get reeled in so fast. And then all of a sudden you are a fish on a boat and you're about to get eaten. And it's, it's not good. It's not a fun place to be. And, and that, I guess that went on for like about two years. Um, and so I was living for my flesh, uh, but God was relentless in me and in my life. And he just kept at me, like broke me down so many times. And, and I would still, I would still rebel. And um, he put people in my life to really show me the love of Christ, even though he knew and they knew that I was lying in sin. And um, I found myself uh, lying, like literally, in sin with somebody, and um, I let him deceive me. And it was almost like I wanted him to deceive me. And um, but before you know, I got into this relationship that was not healthy for me at all. Um, a friend told me, um, "Don't let him treat you less than your worth." And I really wish I would have listened to that because that is, that sound wisdom right there. Um, and so while he was asleep, I, I was lying there next to him and all of a sudden, like, I just, I just cried out to Jesus and I was just like, Jesus, save me. Like, just save me. I can't get out of this place. You know, I can't do this without you. And I just broke down crying and like, this guy's asleep and has no idea anything's going on. While I'm, I'm crying out, um, I just started claiming things over my life, like things that I had grown up, no, like things that my parents had instilled in me as a young child. I just started claiming like verses like, um, he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. And, and I believe that truly because I know that Christ is in me and I knew that he was in me then. And I just had built up this wall and, and that night it just, it came crashing down and I was just like, I was broken and I was in a hole and God just kind of like, just took his hand and was like, here you go, here's some clean water, here's fresh water. And he just showed me his grace and his love and, and that's all it was. It was just grace and love and that's all I've seen since that day is just like, endless grace after endless grace and it blows my mind to think that like even though you've messed up so hard so bad you really feel like oh man god's gonna strike me down on this one i really messed up like no <laughs> he still loves you and there's still hope and and he wants you to call on his name right where you are
forever blessed.